Christmas Fiat Stuffs, Peugeots and Saabs in the under 1500 pound class came as Class B slithered from the grid on the tight 1.2 mile circuit. Rallyman Tony Fall was leading the Datsun trio. Graham Hill had had a bad start. Yeah, I got a bad start and, uh, and it's very slippery out there and of course what you don't want to do is get involved in someone else's shunt. You've got to have about six pairs of eyes but it's a very, very tricky piece here at Devil's Elbow because it goes off some new surface which has got fairly good grip onto a very, a very old piece of surface which is slippery as snails not it. And the moment you hit it, of course, you were just right out of control. Out of control. Graham certainly seemed to be enjoying his tussle with Prince. <laughs> Bernard Unette in the special highly tuned GLS version of the Hunter. Park, Shropshire, last stage of the Avon Motor Tour. Three, two, one, go! There's Bernard Unet's Avenger, class winner and leader of the winning team. And teammate Colin Malkin, second in the class. The others were still racing at Cadwell Park. The Avengers in particular beginning to establish their claim to the team prize and to dominate their class. Fifth overall was team leader Bernard Unet. But in the gathering dusk at Norwich, Roger Clark was having an uncomfortable... The three Green Avenger GTs of Bernard Unet, Jenny Birrell and Adrian Boyd, entered by Halesfield Motors, lead the third race at Silverstone from start to finish. <laughs> Richard Tilly seems to have found the only parking bay at Silverstone. And it's obviously in demand. The smallest engine cars combined with... One team with everything running sweetly, or so far at least, are the three Avenger GTs of Unet, Boyd and Birrell. Bernard Unet in Avenger 50 is six overall, and the team as a whole look well set to collect the trade team award. But aiming techniques don't quite suit the Alton circuit. And his hurdling could be improved as well. Unet goes on to win his race, but the mechanics are going to have to work quickly to keep the team together. With Vanderveld retired, Unet moves into third overall, as well as taking a class win and leading the Halesfield Motors Avengers to collect the trade team award. <laughs> <laughs> 